Hello and welcome to the highlights of the second T20 International of the Nippon Paint Cup between Sri Lanka and Zimbabwe at the R. Prabhadas International Cricket Ground in Colombo. And the toss was won by Zimbabwe and they put Sri Lanka into bat. Zimbabwe goes unchanged but this is the Sri Lankan side. There's one change for Sri Lanka. Nuan Tushara being left out and Dilshan Madhushankar. Yeah, rightly so, Dilshan Madhushankar was arrested last game with a niggle. Straight away he comes back in. Nuan Tushara, yeah, he was slightly expensive but I thought he was very unlucky to be dropped. And that's why Sri Lanka team, when it comes to bowling, Arsenal, they're quite equipped. At, uh, you know, So many options to be ahead with. Zimbabwe going in with an unchanged team. There was a slight niggle when it came to Williams, but I think he's past fit, so he's going to be an important cog in these wheels. Right, we're almost ready to start. Let's go across and join our first commentators. Welcome. Welcome to Colombo. This is the R. Premadas International Cricket Stadium, the second T20 International between Sri Lanka and Zimbabwe. Sri Lanka lead the series 1-0. It's the Nippon Paints Cup. Going by what we saw a couple of nights ago, you'd have to think that we're going to have another tight one to Patum Nisanka. A failure in the first T20 International. Didn't play the ODIs. Oh, top edge, top edge. And the fielder didn't have to move an inch. Jong Wei. This time, Edge flies away to third man. Just the start Zimbabwe needed. And for this man as well to get his spirits up and running hard. Another failure for Patum Nisanka. He gets only one. Sri Lanka one for one. Kusal Pereira to the middle. 16 77 runs within striking distance of Tilakaratna Dilshan, Sri Lanka's leading run scorer in T20 internationals. Oh, he's going to approach the situation. Apesh, that's the second one. The extra bounce really working for Zimbabwe. Sri Lanka unable to cope with it. By picking up those two wickets, he has given the control of the game to his captain, who was looking for this. Early wickets when he uh, elected to bowl first. Pereira North, one for two. Plenty opportunity for these players. But the runs are just not coming for the Sri Lankan. Muzarabani. Oh, brilliant. How good was that? But unlucky not to get that edge and a hat trick. Full toss is picked up. One bounce for four. So that spoiled Karava's over. Leg side, he's picked that up. Oh, it's gone all the way. He's timed it ever so sweetly. Samara Vikrama. Nice timing again in the gap. This will run away too. With his chip that actually scooped it to point. Went after it. Went after it. Couldn't control the stroke. Went straight to the fielder at backward point. And yet again, he's been picked up early in the innings. It's 20 for 3. Now they're asking for a catch. They're asking for a catch. They're very confident. The wicketkeeper thinks he's out. And Sadira Samaravikrama walks away. That's another very soft dismissal. Well, we had four soft dismissals in this game so far. And this will be probably the most softest. Probably of the glove. Bounce, some turn for Masakadza. Sri Lanka uh, in deep trouble. Familiar territory. New year, same problem continues. In the power play, losing because Samar Vikram gone for 16. Sri Lanka in trouble. 27 for 4. Goes over extra cover. Behind point, in fact. For a moment, I thought it was over extra cover. The angle taking it to the backward point. Oh, that's not a good start. There's a bit of fight there, too. 
It was that length, wasn't it? And also the pace. He used it very nicely, Angelo Matthews. And Zimbabwe using the spin, but this is hit by Azalanka greeting Williams. It's fast delivery. Runs are hardly coming. Angelo Matthews, 25 balls. His strike rate is 48. And um, it's T20 cricket. This partnership, 47 balls they've been together. Swings it away on the left side. Has he found it? Yes, he has. Gone all the way for six. This time through the offside. Might go all the way. Does. Turned out to be a good over. In the gap again. Another boundary. It's raining boundaries here. That's his 50. What an innings from Tarit Asalanka, his fifth in his T20 career and his, believe it or not, his first ever in Sri Lanka. Goes over extra cover. He's finding spacers, he's finding his areas. Matthews, they'll get two here, I think. In fact, it'd be four. Low one, it's gone fast and high of oh, Angelo Matthews' bat. Salanka managed things at that stage. Now Matthews, after taking his time, he's catching up, he's pushing on. Straight over the goal ahead, should find the boundary. Runs are coming thick and fast. This partnership now 93. Just doesn't get hold of it, but he'll still get a single. Another massive over for Sri Lanka. They're going at seven and a half now. 121 for four. That's gone up in the air. You were talking about the two fielders in the circle. He's gone over them. One bounce, four runs. Oh, that's big. That's big. The fielder who's back just turns his head to see how far over the boundary it goes. Now, right on the arc. It's bread and butter for Angelo Matthews. Local toss. There's a fielder back. It won't matter. It will not matter. Hitting straight as possible. Charlie Tasalanka, when he hits it, he packs a punch. Strong forearms. And Sikandar Raza was a mere spectator. Local toss once again. It's in the air. Fielder's back. And he completes the catch. Sean Williams. A Yorker outside the Yorkstown Charlie trying to go over extra car much straighter. The bottom of bottom hand coming off the bat. And Sean Williams judged it well. Take that diving catch. A brilliant knock by Charlie Kasalanka. 69 of 39. Sri Lanka 145. His partner thick outside edge and runs away for four. Smashed away. Fielder at mid on goes past them to his left. Wellington Masakata, another boundary. Half century for Angelo Matthews, his sixth. Oh, local toss up in the air. Ryan Bill running in. And he completes a very good catch. Uh, missed out Nasun Chanaka. He had to go for it. A couple of boundaries. He was trying to probably go over mid wicket. Beat for pace and a good catch by Ryan Bell at mid off. He played his hand. Nasun Chanaka, 9 of 4. Sri Lanka, 160 for 6. Oh, that is a beautiful strike. 
He's gone again, feel the back. It's a great effort from Ryan Ball. Short. And it'll work to the new man because he hasn't had time in the middle. Good option to close off the innings. From Muzarabani. Sri Lanka end up 173 for six. They should feel that's more than enough. Asked to bat first. They were reeling. Four for 27. Asalanka 69. Outstanding. Angelo Matthews showing his experience and his value. 66 he made. They've ended up with 173 for six. Muzrabani, Ingrava, great at the top, but then in the last few overs, the wheels fell away. Greg Irwin will be opening the batting. Dinashe Komunu Kamwe gave them a good start. In the first T20 international, but he's up against a different proposition. In the two ODIs that he played was dismissed first ball to this man, Dilshan Madhushanka. He tries, he misses because Madhushanka swings it in. Oh! Loud shout, loud shout, and the finger goes up. He's thinking about it, he's having a word. I'm wondering whether he's going to refer it. He's referred it. Ravi Boltracker coming up. Impact in line. And the wickets missing. You, ha you have to reverse your original decision out to not out. I'll let you know when you're on camera. Make the signal now. Oh, pick that up. Length was there, and he's played that very, very nicely. Couple calm way. First boundary. This is our pitch. Hasaranga is getting underneath it. And he takes it. Take a look. I think it hit him high up on the bat. And nicely taken by the captain. Dinashi Kamru Kamwe has got 12, 22 for one. Very new. Just the 20 years old. Came in at six in the first T20 International. 10 knockout of eight balls. It's Raza dropping down. Good looking shot. Unfortunately, good shot for nothing. Oh, what a delivery. What a delivery. Pacey. Usage of the feet, hits the ball conservatively over mid off for four runs. Six overs done. Power play ends, it's 31 for one. since that ball was a quicker one and that's why Alvin was able to execute that reverse sweep oh, did well to place it fine shot it's a very good shot from Craig Urban hits away and he finds the gap Brian Bennett Oh, that's picked up by Craig Irvin, and that's gone all the way. A gentle loosener on the leg stump. Looking to take the pace of the ball, Dasun Sharnaka. A little bit too easy for Craig Irvin. Brian Bennett over extra cover. And that'll go for four. It's the reverse sweep. It's gone high. And just the one bounce. Perfect start to the over. This is clever batting. Brings up uh, Craig Arvin's 50. He's 950. He's first in Asia.
cut away. Now that is an outstanding stroke to end the 12th over. But he's played well, Brian Bennett. 25 to him, it's 96 for two. Matthews can't stop it, he gets a hand to it. Oh, he's clapped that, he's got hold of that. Oh, takes that on, deep mid wicket, takes it. Summer of Ikrama, judges it to perfection. Hit the ball straight to the fielder, placed at mid-wicket. Not from the middle of the bat, too. He was sitting deep. Samara Vikrama in from the boundary line because it's a long hit. 70 meters, mind you, to try and save the two. Judges it really well because Sikandar Raza, he's a big wicket and they've got it. He's gone for eight, 105 for three. And they'll get him another. believe it. Bold in, Sean Williams. Looked completely out of sorts once again. And he's been removed from the centre. But Tikshana, another wicket for him. It's 1-1-2-4. One, one, two, two, four. Pick that up. Tikshana. Hold on to it, but a wonderful effort though. It was a magnificent effort. Plays it nicely, picks it up. Could have been a brilliant catch. That's a pick up shot. Oh, I mean, pick up. Yeah, Craig Irvin keeps the hopes of Zimbabwe alive. It's too full. And he's actually hit the ground as well. It would have gone further. And he got a clean hit. Craig Irvin looking to go down the ground. Leading edge. And gone. Myers Tikshana takes the catch. Both another googly. Think Craig Irvin picked it. But still back himself to go a bit because gets the leading edge and my station up from a short extra cover takes a good catch a, while, a good 70 of 54 deliveries Zimbabwe 131 for 5 John Gwe soft sound maybe off the glove but enough to get to the boundary good start to the over oh that's gone that is out of here Take a look at this for a swing. Almost like a no, no look stroke. Short arm jab and goes the distance. Ryan Burr will hit the ball to the leg side in his sleep. Oh, now sound. There was a puff of dust when the ball went past, so might have been backed on the ground. Hasaranga's gone upstairs. Okay, Alfred coming up. They roll it forward. Yeah, there's a strike, but uh, roll forward, please. Roll forward. Roll forward, yeah. Ravi, there's a spike when the ball next to the bat. And you need to reverse your original decision not how to out. You're on camera. Make the signal now. The big cheer is because the crowd on the big screen saw the spike. They would have known how devastating he could be at this stage. But he's gone for 13. 1, 4, 3 for 6. Oh, Clive Madande! Hello! Cross seamer by Dilshan Madhusanka. Wow, beautiful. He enjoyed it, Madande. It would have cleared any boundary in the world. Matthews. Oh, Luke Jongwe! You beauty! That has gone a long, long way! A 
and that too rubbing salt in the wound it's been called a no ball oh my god so first touch Sri Lanka could have imagined maximum no ball free hit coming up this one smashed through in the offside Luke Jongwe gets four slow ball Luke Jongwe goes down the ground that's gone all the way to That's right in the hitting arc. That was massive. Vanindu Hasarang at long on was a mere spectator. This excellent hitting. More importantly, keeping his shape, going through the line. Massive. Absolutely massive. That's gone straight up in the air. It's gone a long way up. Fielder getting under it. Myers Dixon has put it down. Unbelievable things here. That went a long way. Kusal Mendes thought for a second that he could go with the gloves on. But that was a costly miss by my station. Frustration at its best. What will he do? He'll hit it. And he'll hit it for six. He's done it before for Zimbabwe towards the end of the innings. Clive Fernandez, he does it again. Sikandar Raza has thoroughly enjoyed that. This was a winning stroke. Flat, long, hard, and brings Zimbabwe home. Batande. The agony of defeat for Angelo Matthews. It went his way a couple of nights ago. It wasn't to be today. Yeah, lovely scenes for Zimbabwe here at the R Premadasa. Sri Lanka put into bat. 173 for six. Outstanding 100 run partnership between Asalanka and Matthews. Zimbabwe in pursuit. 178 for six, they win by four wickets.